dear. Hello, I have spent way too much money at Flying Tiger, so let's go through these art supplies. Oh. <laughs> Hello, art friends. It is haul time. It's been forever since we've done a haul, and Steph recently waddled over to Flying Tiger. And it, this bag apparently has things that make you smile in, which is really cute. And on the other side, this is another like amazing bag. Look! On the other side, you can do tic-tac-toe or play like knots and crosses and stuff. Isn't that adorable? I love Tiger. We have used Tiger like art supplies for years on the channel now, going all the way back to Tiger markers. Do you remember those? So why don't we get a little bit closer and have a look what's inside this baggie? Now, I have to admit, I don't know everything that's in this bag. So what I was thinking of doing is just shuffling it to the side and taking something out at random. So... What's first in this little bag, my dear? Oh! Well, That's this, a gift for you. this is one of the things that I do know about. I've been after a bottle opener for ages, and Steph was, uh, when she was coming home, she sent me a message saying, do you like flamingos? And that was really cryptic, because I had no idea what she was talking about. But it turns out that it's the cutest little bottle opener. Isn't it adorable? I love that little guy. And that's for me, so I do know about this one. That was the only bottle opener in the entire store, so I was like, I guess he likes flamingos. Now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do we have here, dear? <gasps> Origami! Look at the different... Oh my god, that's a really good set, hun. Yeah, there's so many cute little patterns. Let's see the different... Gosh, those are some great patterns. I'm just very impressed with the uh, designs that you get. Let's have a little peek inside. Yeah, let's have a look oh. at the Because I thought I can, like, scrapbook with them. That, oh yeah, th these would be perfect for scrapbooking. I'm gonna pull out a chunk and then just flick through them for you. Oh, they're adorable. And you've got some solid colors at the back as well. Ooh. Oh, these are great. That's so. That's such a good like uh, grab hun. I love those. Ooh. <laughs> oh, is okay. is this a pencil case with a positive affirmation on it? <laughs> Hear me out. Okay. I absolutely do not need another pencil case. I have way too many pencil cases. But I saw this and I think it speaks to me. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> the colours, what colours are they? They do They do look nice. Like a pink and cream in a Ooh. checkered pattern. That's one of like my favourite patterns at the moment. Oh, is that like your colour, your colour aesthetic at the moment? Oh, that's nice. It's, we've got um, a grey sort of pencil case a long time ago and it's similar to that. That's actually really spacious. Look at that. You could really fill that bad boy out. Okay, what's next in here, dear? Let's have a shuffle around. Oh, well, this is heavy. What could this be? <gasps> oh my God, we were just talking about these. Yeah, it's I the Tiger it's Markers. It's like quite a throwback. So I think these ones are actually like different colors because there was two different sets of these markers. And I grabbed these ones because if you tilt it up this way, oh! they're like pastel. I was colors. literally just looking for a swatch, yeah. Oh God, those look, if they are the same as these colors, that's actually amazing. I'm very impressed. Yeah, I'm excited to have a swatch of oh, these. What a throwback, that's awesome. Oh my God. What else is in here? I've been enjoying budget art supplies recently. Oh my god, that's a mood. Oh, I was so excited Oh, this. what is it? Are these, is, are these stickers? Yes. Is this a sticker book? It is. Oh my god, well they are, oh my god, they are adorable. And you can put it on like a keychain. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, that's actually a really sweet idea. And they've got little silvery metallic bits. Yeah. Oh my god, gosh, look at that. Those are cute. What a cute idea to make like a sticker, you know, book. But on a keychain, that's such a cute idea. It's very summery as well, we like this seashell. I'm putting my hand in the bag, hun. Oh, here we go. Oh, what is this? <gasps> oh, oh, highlighters, hello. Okay, I that's interesting. Quite quirky looking colors. Yeah, I take it they're the colors that are on the barrels here. Those are very nice. Again, very sort of pastel-y. Yeah, sort of, I, I can't even fully, like, it's like a muted pastel almost. I wonder if they're like a, to go with these. What do you guys think? Steph's always had good taste with coloured art supplies. As you know, I'm not the best for that, but Steph's always on it. <gasps> oh god! What a throwback! I haven't seen one of these since like the 90s? So because I've been using a Pokemon one that I got for you with a magazine, but that one has about like six colours on it. And How when many? I saw this, it's got like so many colours. How many does it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Ten, ten different colours! colours. 
That's amazing. Oh my God, I had one of these as a kid and I haven't seen it since. Let me show you this one I've been using. Oh yeah, there's the Pokemon fidget one. To be fair, it does have like, well, kind of a fidget spinner. <laughs> but isn't it cute? I really love the design on this one as well with the starters and stuff on. It's really cute. What else is in this bag? Oh, I got so excited about this, I forgot about it. <laughs> what the heck is this? It's all right, let's have a look. Oh, wow, it's literally a book of those like sticky little tab yes. things. Oh my God. <gasps> and there's different oh, and, and different so sizes. Yes. Oh my, okay, this is, a, that's actually amazing. That's, isn't that adorable? And it comes in like a cute little, that's such a neat idea. What a cute little thing. I love sticky knots. That's so you coded as well. That's adorable. There's still, there's still things in this bag. Oh my God. Oh God, what's that? Is that a turtle? I do like his colours. The turtles. Curtis the turtles. <laughs> it just oh cuddly friend. And That's adorable. A little uh, like leopard or something as well, which I really wanted to get, but that one was about nine pounds. Oh really? But it was a, a bigger one. Ah, oh, at least a cute dude. He's got a little thing we can hang him from, so you could put him on a keychain if you wanted to, or really a bag. Cute. Not an art supply, but very necessary. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is another girthy boy. What's in here? Oh, of course, <laughs> more sticky memos. But as you can see, this one has dots on, which is very nice. And the one underneath has that kind of like graph paper school, like math paper yeah, sort of I thing. Yeah, like how paper aesthetic it was. Paper aesthetic. <laughs> is that what we're doing this summer? Paper aesthetic. <laughs> but that is very cute though. I do like, you've got a washi tape similar. In fact, I think you've got washi tape similar to both of these. I do. Yeah, that's very nice. Oh, and they're thick too. Look how many you get. I do hope that you guys, if you've never been, get the chance to go to Tiger because they do have such amazing stuff that's always changing. Oh, some actual washi tape here. Oh, I forgot I got these as well. Well, oh, that's adorable, isn't it? I've never seen wavy washi tape before. What colors are they? Uh, a lilac, a pink, and a light blue. Okay, I was struggling a bit. I was like, you got two grays and a blue in there. So <laughs> I was like, that's fine, I guess. So what say you, honey? Now the bag is empty and we've revealed it all. Do you want to have a little doodle with these art materials that you've got? Yes. It's the yellow sketchbook. Ooh. You know I have to get in close when she's doing some line art. Oh, it's adorable. I wonder if it'll let me drawing these. Let's give him like Ditto. It looks like he's evolved into something. Mm, it looks like Ditto's been run over. <laughs> Let's see. What are you gonna do next? Oh, that goes so well. He's blushing. Oh, good call on. That's gone together really well. Someone has been very busy. Mm -hmm. What are you doing now, hon? Okay, I thought it'd be cute if we well, grab this guy. Because oh, it's literally the same as the. Oh my god, it's him! It is. It's Curtis the Turtis. Curtis the Turtis. <laughs> they look thicker than what they what are. What they are. But they have a really nice like shine to them, so I want to put him. Well, yeah, whack him down there, dear. Down in this corner. I love the. They're so shiny and reflective. Those are really nice stickers. I uh, want to stick one of these like origami sheets into my. Are oh, we getting out the Pritt stick? And it hasn't gone weird yet. Yeah, this one's doing pretty good. Yes, Although that's... it's a very recent one because my other one did go weird. <laughs> that's notorious for using Pritt sticks to the point where they go moldy. I know, I think it brings out like my inner, you know, that kindergarten kind of like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they give you lots of like tissue paper to play with. <laughs> did you ever do that thing as a kid making mosaics out of like cut, like, cut up piece of, pieces of paper? Oh, yeah. I think when we were doing the mosaics, it was like ancient Greece and we were learning about the Greeks and stuff like that and they said like do an ancient Greek mosaic for art class and I was really excited by it and uh, by the end of the class everyone had made these really cool like Greek designs and um, the teacher got upset because I did a mosaic Sonic <laughs> <laughs> and she was like I don't think Sonic the Hedgehog is from ancient Greece and I was just like I just think Sonic's really cool <laughs> Look at the look at the precision. Those scissors are crazy sharp as well. Oh my god, is this gonna be nautical themed? It is. It looks like like waves. Yeah, I'm having a go at trying to sort of just cut out a bunch of like sea ships. Oh, that looks awesome! And I've managed to put all the tiger pens that I got in there. <gasps> oh, can I look? Let me look in the brilliant pencil case, dear. That's <laughs> that's so you. I love that thing. Let's have a. Oh, that's adorable. So these are all the markers and pens that you got from uh, Tiger, yeah? 
Yeah, from one shopping spree. Oh, that's cute. And I love the colours. I love the uh, the colour that the text is in as well. It's just a really cute pencil case, dear. I love that thing. I'm very excited to see what you do with this as well. This like sea themed sort of uh, craft collage sort of thing. Yeah, I want to do like a collage and then like draw something to stick <gasps> on top. That looks so cute. Oh my god. The smell of Pritt stick so nostalgic. Yeah, I feel nostalgic as well. There she goes. Now, wait a minute. This doesn't look like Tiger to me. This looks like the Bristol bod that I bought. What's this doing here? Well, while we're doing an art haul, why not? drawn some nice alcohol paper yeah it's been a while since we've bought like bristol board it's been a very long time and the frisk brand is uh, pretty good I, I think it's a uk brand i think it says it's made in this country it's a <gasps> of my collage so oh my well. god this looks so good i love that and i love the it's so stylized like this ocean page no i want to have a go at trying to draw curtis my friend curtis Curtis the Turtis. <laughs> She's starting off with a little circle. Oh, and there's his little head. Oh! I love how loose Steph sketches, like... I feel like my tremor comes out most when I'm doing pencil sketches. Oh, do you reckon? Yeah, for some reason, like, with uh, pencil, I'm most tremory. And then with ink, I can control myself better because I can, like, push down a bit oh, more. Oh, I see. Are those markers chewing up my Bristol board? It feels like they are slightly. I don't know if maybe I was pushing down too hard. Well, are these... That's very interesting. Are these alcohol markers or are they water-based? Yeah, the alcohol. It's chewing up my Bristol board. I love the colours, but if they're... God, if they're chewing up the Bristol board, what the heck have they put in these things? <laughs> I'm sorry for chewing up your new pair. Oh, it's fine. I forgive you. <gasps> are you using the chisel end? Yeah, to try and get some, like, geometric kind of... That's so cute, because you're trying to, like, sort of replicate this, but in your own sort of way. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think I prefer yours. That's such a cool effect. I really like that. I used to call it my brick technique for when I was <laughs> you did, doing... You said that in a video, yeah, when you was doing a London scene. You used the fabled brick technique. Oh, we're busting out the rainbow bad boy. Oh, that's adorable! Oh, I love how you've done picked out like shapes and done like little scribbles to do like a texture for the shell. That's really cute. Again, I love how like kind of like crafty and sort of rough around the edges this guy's looking. I think it plays into it really well. Yeah, I've kind of accidentally chewed up the paper in some places. Oh, I forgive you, my dear. You're doing such cute artwork. Who can stay cross at this one? Oh, it looks adorable. I'm so excited for him to like be cut out and to like go onto the actual like scene. It's gonna look so cool. Oh, the delicacy and the precision. I don't know why she has the patience to do this. It's so like fiddly. I mean, look how tiny that is. I love like, cutting out tiny things. This might go back to the Rimsies, but I just can't, I can't bring myself to do it. Like chances are I'd like slice its head off or something because I'm too heavy handed, but you do such a good job. I feel like my purpose in life is cutting out little fiddly things. Oh, it works so well. Like I say, I mean, we're gonna have at some point all of these to go through and they're full of like cut out and stuck out things. And it's so, <laughs> look how thick it is. Every time Steph works in this, I get so excited. I genuinely think that it's going to be like her best sketchbook. You said that about ever. every sketchbook tour that well, I did. Well, you keep one up in yourself. What am I supposed to do? Is it time? Is he going to join the ocean? He is. He's getting ready for the ocean. Oh. Go on, whack him in. Oh. oh my god, that's adorable. That works so well. Can you spin it around? That works so well. Oh my god, that's adorable! Because it, it's it looks like like um a top down view, and you he's like swimming in the ocean. That works so well. Oh, that's amazing! Oh, I love that pet, guys. I really hope you like that. But that's awesome. You're such a craft queen. Something I might do is uh, cut this out. Oh, what's that? And, and here oh, is it's... it a tiger label? Yeah, it's a little tiger label, but it's got like the little tiger T on it. So I feel like that might be nice to stick somewhere oh that might be good yeah in the corner Ooh, oh that oh that does look pretty cool actually and the one with the turtle oh yeah oh <laughs> oh tiger you need to hire this woman look what she can do look at this honey this might be another one of your greatest hits greatest hits it looks awesome oh my god this goes so hard are you using oh yeah you are using the highlighter one yeah a little highlighter for it oh this is adorable 
I love how stylized everything is, because obviously you're drawing like the waves in the ocean using these. So I love how you've just used like simple lines to show like movement in the water. I think that's such like a cute touch. Not that it looked, you know, like stagnant and stiff before, but... I felt like it was just missing something. Yeah. The background. This looks amazing. Oh my god. I love your take on this little turtle guy. He's so cute. And this page. Look at that. You've done like two spreads. That's incredible. Well, honey. technically one's a swatch page. So oh, but we love. <laughs> in this house, we love. Well, we some of us love swatches. But that's so cute. I love that. That's like, oh, one of my favorite things. Why are you so angry? Oh. So angry. I haven't done anything. So angry. 